you have to motivate yourself. I don't know how many times I had to learn this to motivate myself because, you know, uh, God removes a lot of people out of your life or you have to cut people out out of your life you know you connected to the wrong relationship you connected to the wrong people and God show you some things and you know you have to cut people off and you find yourself walking alone you have to learn how to lift yourself up sometimes you find yourself in depression you have to talk yourself out of that you know when you're looking at your life and your life is not where you want it to be you have to speak it into existence you have to speak over yourself i am not depressed i am not worried i am not stressed and then sometimes you have to imagine and reminisce over where you was a year ago and the reason why i say that is because you need to see that you are prospering you need to see that you are moving. You need to understand that last year you may have been homeless. But this year you've been in a, you've been in the home and, and your bills are paid up. You may have $10 in your bank account, but uh last year you were homeless. And that pushes you. See, a lot of people don't want you to think about what you went through or your past. But I say, look at your past to make you go further, make you go further to push yourself. Because sometimes you don't have friends and you don't have anybody to encourage you. And sometimes you do have people around you that's never positive. That's never uplifting. That when you do do something good, they don't tell you. They go, oh, okay, I see. I don't know how many times I can be excited and tell somebody something and I get a total opposite reaction. I get a silence. Or I get, oh, okay, that's nice. I don't get anything. I don't get no type of satisfaction out of it. So I had to learn how to stop telling people my excitement in my life. I had to stop telling people uh the great news because i wasn't getting the feedback that i wanted so i would walk around the house and say praise myself encourage myself the time you did good i'm so proud of you because you gotta understand that a lot of people could be further than you but still miserable and don't want to see you get out of your rut so you have to learn how to encourage yourself. You will never leave where you are until you decide where you rather, rather be. Like I said, last year you were homeless. This year you were in a home. Now, it may be a one-bedroom house. It may be a one-bedroom apartment. But remember, last year you had nothing. You had nowhere to sleep. You're sleeping on people's floors. You're begging people, can I spend a night? Can I stay the night? Versus this year, you're in a one-bedroom home. You have accomplished something. And that's how you got to keep yourself lifted up. You got to remember last year, you didn't have any money. Now you're able to hold $10 in the name and the blood of Jesus. So you're constantly motivating yourself. This happens to everybody. I've been through situations to where um, I didn't have anybody to call to ask. We all go through. And if you're not going through, then the enemy already has you. That's what I learned. If you're, if you're still fighting, if you're still warring, and if you're still struggling, you are still in the fight. You have not lost. And you have to change your mindset on how to motivate yourself. And that's what I had to tell myself. If I'm still struggling, I'm still fighting, I'm still going, then I haven't lost. I don't care if I was homeless and I don't have nowhere to go. I'm still making it day by day. That means I have not lost. And I'm motivating myself. I'm lifting myself. Yes, I messed up. Yes, I did wrong. Yes, I, I did all those things. But I'm going to keep going. Because the fight is to make you quit. The fight is to make you give up. And if you're still struggling and you're still fighting and you're still getting up every morning, 
then that means that's another day to win another battle. Until it cease. Disappointment. Oh my God. Disappointment is a spirit. And there is a lot of people that went through disappointment. I caught this either this year or last year. Disappointment. And see, when you see something going on in your life wrong, you're constantly noticing disappointment in your life. You're constantly noticing blockage. You're constantly uh, noticing no in your life. That's a battle, and you need to get on it. Disappointment is a spirit. That's not a God. Every time you turn around, you were disappointed. You need to speak against that. I will go look for prayers based on disappointment and I'm praying against it and I'm speaking against it and that's what you got to do you got to evaluate your life and look around you what is going on in your life that is causing you to never get to where you trying to be and you got to attack it isn't that what it's doing to you you got to attack whatever's going against your life get up if you still woke up this morning, you're up this morning. You have not lost. Keep fighting. I don't care if you got to lay in the bed and do it. You wore out. You tired. You keep opening your mouth. You keep thinking it. You keep seeing it. You keep imagining it. You got to do this thing. We were born by ourselves unless you're a twin triply quadruply unless you are those but still you this is your battle and you got to get up stop warning others and asking and calling people can you pray for me and they say okay and get off the phone you don't know what people are praying stop asking people and get up yourself i don't care if you so wore out you can't move Move them lips. This is your life. You see, and God made a promise to you, get up and speak it. Don't go another day of your life stuck to where you did not tell it to go. You have power and authority. It's written in God's word. You have power and authority to speak those things as though they were. What are you waiting on? Get up. Motivate yourself. Stop depending on people. I had to learn that. Stop depending on people. If I want something done, I'm going to do it. If I want to do something, I got to do it. And that's how you got to do it. You are not in pride. You are not arrogant. Everyone around you is not for you. They're not happy for you. Stop telling what's going on in your life. Stop telling the exciting news. And stop telling the bad news. Because people love hearing bad. And they'll spread that like wildfire more than the positive. So let this today be the last day to where you're down and out. There is no reason to be down and out. If you are living, you woke up this morning, you got another day to get it right. You're welcome.